So my name is Alex Anderson, but most of you probably know me as Jarvis, and this is my testimony of how God saved me. I grew up in a household that taught the gospel, and I thought I knew Christ. My old pastor at the end of each sermon would tell us to pray the sinner's prayer along with him if we weren't saved. I would carelessly go along with it every time in case I didn't do it right the last time, or if I thought I sinned too much and I thought I was good to go afterward. It was only when I went to a hangout with my brother in July last year that I found out that I wasn't saved. That was where I met my friend Alden Wine. The first thing he asked me was what my testimony was. I told him I didn't know what a testimony was, and we talked about my salvation for about an hour. God used Alden to show me that I hadn't truly put my trust in Jesus, but I didn't think much about it. I didn't care that I wasn't saved because I had my doubts about heaven and hell and whether or not there even was a God. I later started to go to Compass's student youth group, but only as another way to hang out with friends. Then came months of lusting, lying, hypocrisy, and ignoring the gospel message that, was, that I was told every week. I was by definition a sociopath. I didn't care about really anything in my life. If I made someone sad or angry, I didn't care. I would lie to my family and friends constantly without a second thought. I would act like a Christian with my friends and family, arguing about unimportant topics like predestination and salvation security, which were completely irrelevant to someone unsaved. Matthew 7.21 described me before I was saved. It says, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven will enter. I pretended and lied about being a Christian to make my family and friends happy, but I never did the will of the Father. During my time at Compass before I was saved, I heard many people's testimonies talking about how God opened their eyes and they turned to God, but I was numb and blind to my own sin. I had heard the gospel so many times, and since I hadn't responded, it became dull to me. I knew I needed God to show me something. I actually felt guilty for not feeling guilty about my sin, if that makes sense. I prayed to God to open my eyes and change my heart, my desires, and give me genuineness. Fast forward to April 9th, 2024, my best friend Alden died. I cried harder than I ever had that day and I couldn't take it. God used Alden's death to put my life in perspective for me, showing me how fast it can end and how important the decision to follow him truly was. I actually felt guilty for the things I've done and I, couldn't, I knew I couldn't keep living in sin. The next day, Compass had a service for him. I broke down after the service and my friend Marcus prayed with me. I made the decision to give my life to Christ and repent of my sins on April 10th, 2024. After my salvation, I've gained a new feeling of guilt when I sin. God opened my eyes to my sin and gave me the genuineness that I prayed for. Since I heard the gospel so much, I began to get annoyed by it. But since God saved me, the gospel has brought me joy and peace because through Jesus' sacrifice and resurrection, I have a new hope to inherit God's gift of eternal life and see Alden again. Alex, it's upon your profession of faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.